It is all about bow ties to be in the sartorial kitchen. That's right, bar filet. Taking things off by making the pasta salad with tomatoes, basil, mozzarella, and a lemon vinaigrette. Next, it's a baked cheesy pesto. And last but not least, pasta chips. So why don't you pull up a chair and dine with me? Back, everybody. So we have reached our halfway point through the season, but we are far filet from over. <laughs> That's right, it is farfalle today. And those who do not know what farfalle is, it is basically bow tie pasta. So I am doing um, three different preparations of the farfalle. First is a pasta salad. Farfalle really lends itself to pasta salad. It has all those little nooks and crannies that hold the dressing beautifully. So I'm just starting with some lemon here. One whole lemon. I'm doing the lemon first so I can watch for seeds. And I want to make sure I get all of that juice out of these lemons. So I like to take my tongs and just give it a little squeeze. And you can see you get just a little more juice out. And we'll do that with the other guy here. I've already got my water going. It's starting to come to a boil. I've salted the water. I am going to throw in a little olive oil that's going to keep the pasta from sticking. We're going to be cooking all of our pasta at once and then I'm going to be doing um, my separate preparations. So I need a large pot with lots of water and heavily salted. That's how we're going to flavor our pasta. Okay, so there's our lemon juice. That's probably about a fourth a cup. And then I'm going to do about equal parts um, of the olive oil here. Beautiful. This is just a very simple vinaigrette dressing. Um, if you want to do um, like a salad. Um, it's great um, on pasta as well. Okay, so I'm um, adding just a little salt and pepper there for some flavor and a little Italian seasoning as well. And then we'll give it a little stir. My little list here. And what's great is that warm pasta is going to hit this dressing oh, and it's just going to soak it up like a sponge and just get nice and flavorful. Okay, that looks good. All right, water is boiling, so I think our pasta is ready to go in. There it is. One box. And I need about half of this other box. All right, that's good. Give this a little stir just to make sure it's not sticking. Pasta likes to cling together and stick. Those starches release and kind of cling to each other. So just give it a little stir. We're going to continue working on our salad. I always love starting with the dressing first and then you can just throw everything in and mix it up and it's so I've got um, just a few other things here a little of my uh, minced garlic. You know how much I love my garlic. I'm going to do about a teaspoon just enough that you know it's in there. And I've got some fresh elements here. I've got some uh, basil and some tomato. These are just grape tomatoes. I love um, these kind of tomatoes in the salad. You just kind of core them in half, drop them right in. The juices of the tomato are going to kind of add to our dressing. It's going to give us a nice little acidity alongside that um, lemon. Alright, there's our tomatoes. Just 
going to stir those in. I've got some black olives here. And I'm just going to uh, fish some of those out. Couple, couple tablespoons, tablespoon and a half. Um, depends on how much you like olives. I like, um, they have a meatiness to it and they add some nice color, so I like using those. And just kind of um, stir this in. I've got mozzarella pearls I splurged on the good stuff. Because with a dish like this, you just gotta. Plus, I want my far filet to be as stylish as I am. <laughs> All right. And these, um, I just kind of break them up a little bit. They kind of pack them tight. And what's a salad without cheese, anyways? <laughs> mm. and the richness of the cheese really benefits from this, uh, the freshness of this dressing. Okay, that's good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and prep my uh, basil, although we're not gonna add it just yet. Now the pasta, if you're one of those people who uh, likes to time their pasta, about 10 to 12 minutes, just until it's slightly tender. I want to have a little chew to it still, but be nice and cooked through. I don't usually set a timer, I just kind of know when your pasta kind of floats up. You can always take a piece and test it. All right, now let's talk basil. Get rid of some of this tomato juice. I love me some fresh basil. Of course, it's out of season right now, so I had to get it from the store. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to break these leaves off the stem. Beautiful. And I just love, love the smell of basil. Mm. It's one of those herbs you can tell immediately what it is, just, just from the aroma. Now I'm just going to come in here, um, layer these leaves up, these nice big leaves. And I'm just going to take it, this is called, um, chiffonade. You just roll the leaf up on itself until you get a nice little basil burrito of sorts. And then you just come in with your knife and run it along. Take these stems out though. And then you get nice little ribbons of basil. set that basil aside. I want to throw it in after we uh, add our pasta. It's just going to make the basil even more fragrant when it hits that hot pasta. All right, I'm going to set our salad aside. In addition to this pasta salad, I'm also doing a baked pesto. So um, I'm just going to take this pesto here I think I only need about half of this jar. We're going to be thinning it out with some pasta water. And that's going to create the base for our baked pesto. I've also got some cheeses. It's going to be luxe. All right. There's our pesto. Now I'm just going to take some of this pasta water start with about a cup. That should be good. Get my other little whisk out here and we're just going to come in here and stir that around. I don't want it to be too soupy. I just want it, um, I just kind of want to break it down a little bit. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, you can smell the basil in here as well. It's going to be a very basil <laughs> forward menu today. <laughs> Actually, that looks pretty good. I'm going to add just a little more, about another half a ladle full. That should be good. And give that a stir. 
beautiful. We will set that aside. I'm going to um, kind of just drown my pasta in that and then we'll throw it together um, when that goes into bake. And then we'll save, um, we'll take out what we're going to need for the pasta salad and the pasta chips. Mmm, beautiful. We take that off the heat. We're going to drain this. And then we will be ready to dive into our dishes. Should we get all the water there? Beautiful. Make sure all that water drains off. It's gonna go back into our skillet. I'm gonna throw in just a little more oil. That's gonna keep the pasta, um, once again, from sticking to itself. And just kind of stir that up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Now, like I said, we're going to take some of this out. So for our uh, pasta salad here, I want about, I think about four cups. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. And then you can kind of stir it in and uh, if you want to add more you can. I think that's a pretty good amount. It's going to be a nice kind of lunch dish. It's also a good side dish, appetizer kind of thing. I would say that's pretty good, yeah. Then we're going to take... Um, Another portion of that, I'm going to get a bowl here. Get a bowl here. I need about, I'm just going to, I think that's pretty good. We're going to fill that bowl, maybe not even quite as much. It's going to be for our pasta chips. All right, now before we move on to finishing our salad, I want to move on to my pesto pasta. Oh, look at that gorgeous green color. That's from all that basil. I love me some basil. We're going to stir this up. Stir it up. Get this coated. Beautiful. Mmm, look at that. You could eat it just like this, sprinkle a little Parmesan on top, and you're good to go. But we're going to do a baked application with this. Nice. And my oven sounds like it is ready to go. Perfect. All right, take this off the heat. That burner is still hot. All right, so to the same bowl, it's all going together. We can mix our filling. So it is um, ricotta. I need about, about half this container, I think, that would do me good. It goes a long way. One of my favorite cheeses of all. To that, a little bit of this um, grated Parmesan going to be adding salt without adding salt. Some pepper. I uh, also want a little garlic powder here. You can never have enough garlic. About a tablespoon. And lastly, two eggs. The eggs are going to give this some body, 
It's also going to bake nicely in the oven. We just want to be careful when we're cracking these to watch for eggshells. We do not want eggshells in our pasta. <laughs> All right, and then we come back in here with our whisk. I'm going to break those eggs up a little bit first. And then just come in here. Give that all a good mix. Really beat those eggs up nicely. Mm. Beautiful. Oh, yes. So much. You should get a nice fluffy mixture. Almost kind of looks like mayonnaise. So, let's bring our dish here. I've got a, a just a medium sized ceramic dish to um, bake our pasta in, and I have greased it. So I'm just gonna come in here first and uh, get a little of our ricotta mixture here. And just spread that out. And then we add in our pasta. All right, so we've got a little bit of that sauce down just as a base. Then we we'll come in here with a generous helping of our pasta. Just a nice kind of thin layer. It's almost like a lasagna. It's going to be layered, and we're going to bake it off. It's going to be so good. Um, and then I've got some just an Italian blend here. Cheese. We're going to sprinkle some of that on top. And a little of our Parmesan. This is going to be very cheesy, very decadent. And more of our mixture. I'm just going to spoon that right over top. We can do a little more this time. Before I was just kind of doing that as a base. And again, just kind of lightly spread that out. I just go start in the middle and work my way out. And time for another layer of pasta. Pasta is ready to go. I've already got my oven set to 400 degrees. I'm going to pop this right inside on the uh, middle shelf, I think. And it's going to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes just until everything is uh, nice and bubbly on top and that ricotta mixture is cooked through. So I'm going to go ahead and set my timer and we will finish our pasta salad. All right, guys, pasta salad. Get rid of our whisk. <laughs> I'm gonna move into my little salad spoon here and I just wanna continue to toss this. I want that dressing. I um, just wanna make sure all that pasta is coated in that dressing. That pasta has cooled down now, but when it's good and hot, it just really clings that dressing. You can kinda see how it gets um, all those wonderful flavors there. And then we're gonna throw in um, our basil here. I'm gonna stir that in. I love fresh herbs, green herbs, just adds a nice pop of color. And basil, um, one of my favorites. <laughs> and then I like to save a little basil to sprinkle on top. Good presentation and then I will have kind of lunches for the week or if you want to do like a baked chicken dish or something that makes a really nice side you could even add chicken to this if you want but before we do any of that I'm gonna to have to give it a little taste <laughs> I just want to come in here with this so you can see how vibrant it is it is also fragrant as well. Unfortunately, you can't 
to experience that, but I can. So I'm going to tell you, let you know how it goes. So it's going to come in here, like a nice bite. Um, the tomato and the mozzarella and some of that basil. Mmm, bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, mmm, so good. Okay, so lemon vinaigrette, you can't fail. Oh, it's so easy. It's great. Couscous, pasta salad, just over lettuce with a little parmesan. Mmm. That mozzarella pearl just melts in your mouth. The pasta has a little bite to it still. You get some nice texture from the tomatoes and just that basil is just nice and fragrant. Mmm, absolutely perfect. I'm going to clean this up and then our pasta should be ready to come out of the oven. Stay tuned. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, time to pull out our pasta. Mmm. Does that not look amazing or what? Oh, it smells even better. I'm gonna let that cool for just a little bit and we will give it a taste. All right, guys, I'm just gonna dig right in, get a nice bite here, get down into that filling. Mmm. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Good and hot still. <laughs> mm. So good. Immediately, the basil. You smell the basil, you taste the basil. It just takes over. Mm. Then you get a little deeper into it. You get that ricotta filling, the garlic, mm. and then that cheese just really pulls everything together. And the reason I leave the pasta a little al dente, so it can stand up to baking in the oven and not get, you know, mush. So it's just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color, perfect. You can serve that as an entree, you can add chicken to it, um, bread and fry some chicken, lay it on top. Or it makes a lovely side dish. <laughs> All right, so uh, lastly, it is going to be pasta chips. So stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we did our baked pasta. We did our pasta salad. Now let's have something a little fun here. Pasta chips. So I saw this on, um, I guess it was one of those TikTok things. And I thought, is that really a thing? And I kind of looked it up, and I'm like, you know what? It really is. So I'm adding just a little more oil here. That's going to help um, to get these nice and crispy. And this is going to be a fun little late night snack. So we've had our kind of salad starter um, appetizer kind of thing. And we had our entree. So now we're going to move on to a little late night snack here. So just a little olive oil here. That's going to help um, all of our seasonings here cook to the pasta. It's also going to help it get nice and crispy, so I'm going to throw in a little more of my Italian seasoning here. About a teaspoon. It's a little strong. Um, some salt here. About a teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. Just give it a little kick. And some garlic powder. Again, um... Probably about a teaspoon. I love garlic. And some Parmesan cheese. Why not? <laughs> What's ever been worse with cheese? <laughs> Just a nice, generous sprinkling of that. Awesome. And then we're just going to come in here with some clean hands and just toss all that together. I want everything to get nice and coated in our mixture here. Mm. Beautiful. All right. 
Give my hands a quick rinse. And then we'll throw these babies in the oven. Look at that, just nice simple pasta. If you ever make too much pasta, this is a great way to uh, kind of use that up. And I'm just gonna kind of lay it out. I wanna kind of separate it so they all get nice and toasty. I've still got my oven going here from earlier. So we'll just throw these babies in. Uh, same temp, 400 degrees, just like the uh, pesto pasta. They're going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, just until they're nice and golden brown. And we will be ready to dig in. Okay, time to pour our chips out of the oven. And don't those look beautiful? Nice and golden brown. Perfect little late night snack. Or um, as an appetizer with some marinara or uh, Alfredo sauce maybe. But I'm just going to come in here and give it a little taste. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Listen to that crunch. Nice and crisp. The Parmesan and the Italian seasoning and everything, just, just the right amount. Perfect use for leftover pasta. <laughs> so, I thank you guys once again for joining me in the kitchen. As always, like and subscribe. Hit me up in the comment section. And 